morning, everybody. Or afternoon. Say hi to you. Say hi. <laughs> We're at home. Uh, getting a few things done this week. That air valve that was damaged on my truck. Uh, I need to get a closer look at that and replace it if I can. Uh, there's quite a bit of dirt build up on my truck and I need to go over it and make sure that there's nothing else that got damaged down there. It looked like a rock just hit it and knocked that airline out and it also could have damaged that valve a little bit which is pretty easy to replace. I'll probably be able to do that myself but uh, there's a lot of other things going on this week but a little bit of home time content coming for you. So we're taking care of things here. There's always something to do. Timmy's. Timmy's. Timmy Hors. We're going past Timmy's. Oh, this is like a federal crime, isn't it? Oh my. Oh, we're going to Holiday RV. Need some more parts for our trailer. Oh yeah. There's the parts right here. I'm going to park right here. This used to be a big grocery store in town and then it sat vacant for years and then Holiday RV bought it, which is awesome. Now it's the largest indoor RV showroom in the province, I believe. I think that's their claim to fame right now. They've been selling a lot though. This place was packed at the beginning of the summer. This whole lot here is packed with trailers now. It looks like they're selling through their inventory a bit. So, uh, Britt and I have started a new business. Um, we're gonna be renting our trailer out. Uh, as a side business and Britt is going to be running it for the most part while I'm on the road but we have our first renter coming tomorrow to grab our trailer from us and that's why we've been doing so much work on the RV to bring it right back up to a brand new standard so that uh, it's ready tomorrow they're taking it out over August long weekend oh, we're pretty excited to have our first our first customer we started this business uh, just about a month ago you got to spend money to make money so we had to spend a little bit like I'm doing right now into the trailer to bring it up to the standard that we would want from a rental. Hopefully we'll have it booked throughout the rest of the summer and then next year we'll start from the beginning of the season and have it booked fully through the season. And then we'll just block off the dates when we wanna use it so that we have the camper to use. But other than that, if it's just gonna sit in storage, why not put it to good use and let people who want it use it? I feel good about it then because then I feel like we're helping other families like us enjoy their summer and take their kids out camping or just take each other out camping. We have a pretty small trailer. It only sleeps four. I would say it sleeps three adults comfortably if two of the adults are a couple. There's a queen bed. It's a Murphy bed that comes down and then there's a dinette that folds down into like a double or a twin bed where two kids could sleep easily, but uh, one adult. I wouldn't say that. Well, you could fit two adults on there if they're close, maybe two couples sleep on that or if you're just that close to your friends on the second bed but yeah it's it officially it sleeps four so it's not the biggest camper but uh yeah hopefully we can help some other people in the region here enjoy their summer holidays a little bit more why you know, why buy a brand new camper if you're just going to use it once or twice a year when you could just rent from us right and you don't have to make the investment of buying it and you still get to have a nice air-conditioned camper to, to sleep in right We'll see. We'll see where this goes. We're just starting off, so we want to put our best foot forward and make sure that everything goes as smoothly as possible for our uh, for our, our renters. I am going to offer delivery, but it's on a subject to availability basis because I'm also working full time, and Britt doesn't have the time with our baby to always deliver it as well either. So subject to availability, I would like to offer that for all the renters, that would be awesome. You know, you, I'll bring it to your campsite, I'll set it up for you, get everything ready to go, you just show up and camp. And when you're done, you just clean it for us the best you can, and then I'll come, take it all down, pull it back home. There is a fee for that though, obviously. There's a fee for that. But you could also come and pick it up if you have towing experience and you have a towing capable vehicle that's able to tow our camper. It's uh, fully loaded. It's almost 7,000 pounds. Uh, I think the dry weight is 5,200 pounds. But uh, uh, the renters that are coming tomorrow to pick it up, he's got towing experience. He's got a Chevy, Chevy Silverado uh, full-size pickup, and uh, he's done this before. So he's going to pick up the trailer and 
take it to the campsite set it up himself so we're going to meet him tomorrow explain how everything works so that when he gets there he sets it up how uh, we can all set it up make sure it's all done right and then they can enjoy the the long weekend and i hope they have a good time and i hope they come back again to rent from us again so i guess i could use this platform as some extra free advertising <laughs> if you're in the southern manitoba region or you know kenora or uh, Saskatchewan, wherever you are really if you are interested in renting our little camper you can always reach out to me at uh, truckerjoshvlogs at gmail.com we don't have an email specifically designated for that business yet maybe we should set one up this weekend though either way if you email me at truckerjoshvlogs at gmail.com it's down below the video uh it'll still get to me and if we create a new business address for for that business which we probably will we can share that in the future but either way it'll get to me uh it sleeps four if you're looking for a camper to enjoy the weekend the summertime yet reach out maybe we can work something out i can send you to our official listing and uh, it's all online yeah you can book it online on our site you have to have a valid driver's license to book it um you can get insurance through our site as well for the duration of your rental it has a lot of good options uh, so if you're in the area you want a camper we got one it's available through the rest of the summer august long is booked already but so far as of filming this the rest of the summer up until the end of september is still wide open if you guys want to rent from us so send me an email if you're interested it's located just so you know it's located in steinbeck so if you have towing experience you want to pick it up it's in steinbeck if you want delivery before you book it let me know and we gotta see if we can work it out i may be able to find someone to deliver it for you I might be able to deliver it myself if it's on the weekend. We'll see if we can work something out. Pickup is preferred if you have the vehicle and towing experience, but eh. enough shameless self-promotion. Okay, it's a new business. We're excited about it. I want to get the word out there. You now know if you need a camper in the Southeast Manitoba area, you know where to find one. You can rent from us. No need to go out and buy your own. We have a nice little one that you can use for your family and then uh, let me tell you, it's a lot better than camping out in a tent. Some people are hardcore tenters. Okay, I get it. I get it. Nothing against you. But just think of this. Think of this. Air conditioning. Air conditioning. Our trailer has air conditioning. <laughs> Reach out to me if you're interested, uh, if you live nearby. Let's we'll see what we can do. Uh, on, um, yeah, card. <laughs> Sorry, but uh, if I can get the right one out here. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. You too. The espresso shot was in there? Yeah, yeah, okay. Sure. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> I heard them talking there like oh did you get the special shot that's the most important part you better not forget my special shot we went to Timmy's anyway I was way too close to just drive away I mean I wouldn't want to lose my Canadian citizenship or anything and drive past Tim Hortons and not get anything I mean, <laughs> like I said before I don't know what it is about Timmy's but Canadians are just obsessed with it. I'm, I'm one of them, and we don't know why. We don't know why. It's not that good a coffee. It's not bad coffee, okay? I gotta give that to him. It's, it's good coffee, but it's not like whew, over the moon astronomical, like wow coffee. It's just, it's coffee. I have to put an espresso shot in mine so that it actually tastes like coffee, because I think it's a little weak. But then again, I like my coffee to, you know, kick me in the pants. Because that's how coffee is supposed to be. It's supposed to taste like coffee. I don't want to. I don't want coffee flavored water. I want coffee, but I don't want tar. I'm spitting all over the place. I'm getting excited right now. I don't want tar, but it's got to be just perfect. And I have found the perfect cocktail at Tim's: large coffee, one cream, shot of espresso. Mmm, perfect. Well, I don't know. We just keep flocking back to them. We just keep going back. Why do we do it? We don't know why must be putting something in it I don't know so I'm gonna head over to the shop right now and uh, continue working on the trailer a bit I've got a new interior light one of the interior lights was broken 
I tried to fix it. Uh, one of the solders came off. I tried to resolder it yesterday, last night. <laughs> I fried it. Uh, and it wasn't even Friday, and I fried it. <laughs> oh, geez, this Volkswagen in front of me just peeled out. Wow. You're so cool. So cool in your Volkswagen. Oh, now he's driving like a... Oh, come on, man. Sorry, camera's pointed at me, but you just gotta trust me. This guy's driving like a... Can't say it on YouTube. They're gonna age restrict my video. Oh. Anyway, what was that? Okay, we're gonna go replace that light. I just gotta make sure my uh, sewer hoses are all clean and uh, in their place. Uh, I think that was all. Oh, we gotta install a toilet paper roll holder in the bathroom so that you can have the toilet paper on the wall because it didn't come with one so we gotta install one and then we've already got rv toilet paper i think all of the boxes have been checked i think it's good we've got a good renter coming he sounds like a great guy like i said through our site and our listing uh, they have to have their identity verified before they can make their booking uh, before we can release the trailer to them so it's uh it's sort of like airbnb but it's for rvs We'll see how it goes. I mean, uh, uh, I'm excited to have a new business started. Uh, had to register it and everything, got it all official. Uh, running it with my wife, with Britt, so something we can do together. Because while I'm on the road, I can't always handle things back here at home. But since she's at home with Theo, this is something that she can do uh, and take care of when I'm not here. Which I think is awesome. It's like a team effort. Something, something that we can, a business that we can do and run together. Whereas trucking is sort of, it's obviously just my thing, right? It's my business, my truck. You know, if this goes well, and so far it has, like we had our booking almost immediately and we've had seven or eight requests already for August long. So if we had seven or eight trailers, they would all be rented out this coming weekend. So we're thinking if this rest of the summer goes well, we'll list it through next summer as well. And if next summer, if we're fully booked and things go well, we might buy another one or two trailers and expand the business there. Well, at the same time, maybe I'll buy another truck for my trucking business, hire maybe one of you or hire a driver to drive that truck, expand that business. Slowly work our way towards our, our goals. If this does go well, and the rental market is pretty hot right now, like we have friends that do this as well, and multiple friends, more than one, and they're booked through the whole season. So once we get our trailer booked, and if next season goes well too, and we're successful, and you know, maybe we'll have a whole fleet of rentals one day. We'll have like five, maybe 10, who knows? I wanna be the, the people to go to. I wanna be the one to go to for rentals in the area. You wanna rent a trailer, you come to us. I wanna be that guy. So Old Blue still needs a wash. That'll be a project for this weekend. Gotta look at that valve as well and make sure there's no other damage underneath there. This camper's ready to go. It's already plugged in, got the fridge and freezer cooling off in here so it's ready to go tomorrow morning. They're gonna be here at about noon or so. I'm thinking between noon and one o'clock. So you got everything plugged in back there. So when they get here, the fridge and freezer will be nice and cold and cool so that they can put their groceries right in there. As soon as they leave, it kicks onto propane. So the fridge and freezer uh, runs on propane so it'll keep it, all their groceries cool on the way to their campground. And when they get there, it's all set up. I just gotta show them how to set everything up here. I gotta make sure that I stress to them that the jacks underneath here are stabilizing jacks and not leveling jacks. They're not designed to level the trailer. If you wanna level the trailer, you're gonna have to put some wood underneath it or something underneath the wheels. But uh, you cannot use those as leveling jacks. They're not strong enough, it'll break. I'll just stress that to them. Other than that, I think we're ready to go home and sit in the gazebo, relax a little bit and uh, enjoy the rest of the evening. Tomorrow's the big day when our first renters come and pull her away for the weekend. Fingers crossed, I hope everything goes good for them and for us. <laughs> Don't worry, old blue. Don't worry, I know you're kind of buried in there. I haven't forgotten about you, don't worry. You, you're still pretty, you're still pretty. No, 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 you're so good looking. Don't, don't look at me like that, don't give me that look. Look how sad it looks. Oh. 
your time's coming. Don't worry, I'll come back soon. We're gonna give you a nice bath. We're gonna polish you up. Don't worry. I'm gonna fix you all up under there, your airlines. Your turn's next, okay? Just, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. You got your friend in here now. You can sleep and you're not by yourself. You're not gonna be lonely. See, I'm looking out for you. Oh, did I show you the lines that I put in here already? So I put in these lines. The trailer stays just to that side of these lines and that line there, the truck stays just to that side. So I've got 10 feet from there to the wall on that side and 10 feet on that side. Both units are eight feet wide. So I have, if I put them right, right against the line there, I have about two feet on either side of the vehicle. So see this over here. See, still plenty enough room to get in there, get stuff done. Works out fine. Yeah. Makes backing in here a little bit easier because old blue's got to sort of wiggle, wiggle in. I know it doesn't usually have all that stuff in front of it. That stuff is usually in front of this, but this is being pulled out tomorrow. So we're just gonna keep it, keep it open. And then I've got the uh, square down here. So that on my backup camera on my truck, I can just aim to put the, the dolly down right around in the center of that or in there. I know it's not perfectly center, but I know that when I put it in there, the trailer's pretty, pretty straight in here. And it, uh, it fits in here just nicely. Like I said, all of that stuff's going to our new house once we buy a new house, once we're able to do that. Not a lot of extra space in here, eh? But <laughs> that's it. So again, a little bit more shameless self-promotion of our new business. We rent trailers or we rent a trailer. We have one this year. Maybe next year we'll have two. Maybe we'll have three. Maybe we'll have four. Maybe we'll stick with the one for another year. I don't know, but we have this trailer available for rent. If you're in Southern Manitoba area or able to come here, camp in this area here, delivery options are available. Like I said, sometimes talk to us first. Maybe we can work something out. If not, if you have towing experience, you can always come pick it up too. And uh, yeah, if you're interested, you can email me and I'll direct you towards our, our site. All right, all right, all right. One second, one second, let me set the mood, let me set the mood. All right. Yeah. There we go. It's not that fancy, but it's somewhat fancy. All right. Burners on, burners on, burners on. All right, I gotta heat this up. Cause I was lazy last time and didn't clean it after I used it last time. So now I gotta heat it right up and clean it now. And then we're making burgers. Yeah, this is the gazebo when it's not all closed up. I know I showed it to you uh, before. My little light configuration in there. You know what, I'm gonna go get my other camera starting to get dark out. This GoPro does all right in low light, but the Sony does way better. Let me show you the difference. Okay, we're gonna end off on this clip right here. Look at the difference with the other camera. And this is my Sony A7C. It always gives a much better picture, but especially in low light, there's no competing with it, really. Anyway, get in here. We got like a little, little visiting area in here. So with this camera, the Sony A7C, uh, the only thing about this is that I have to put it through a separate program to steady the shots. What's it called again? Pretty what it's called, but it's a program I have to pay for. It's I think like 150 or 200 bucks a year, I think. Put it through there and it stabilizes it. But what it does is it cuts off the edges around the frame. So what you're seeing now is not actually the full frame shot that I'm filming. But when I go like this or like that, if I wouldn't steady it, 
you guys would get super nauseous and dizzy because the, the footage would be super shaky. So I put it through some extra software to stabilize it, but it does crop it down to 90%. So you're seeing 90% of the shot around there. I can adjust it to whatever percentage I want. I could take 50% of it out if I wanted to, but then we'd be filming like this all the time. And it's really awkward vlogging when you're like this close to someone's face. So. <laughs> you know what? I'll include one shot now of just regular footage so you know what I'm seeing, and then you'll see the difference. So I'm gonna walk around here a little bit. Let's walk over here, and then I'll walk back with another shot, you'll see. See, this is nice and steady still, right? Okay, and I'm not walking smoothly or anything either. I'm not trying. Let's try another shot without the image stabilization. Okay, this is no image stabilization. I'm gonna do that same walk right over here. I'm not trying to walk smooth or anything. I know it's a little dark, but see how much, how different it is? Doing the exact same thing as before. That's why I put it through that program and then it crops out the edges just a little bit, but I still think the picture of this camera is so much better. So much better. It's just kind of bulky. It's it's kind of bulky. Diesel, what do you think? Are you gonna barbecue? No way, man. You barbecue, I eat. That's the deal we got. You bar did someone say barbecue? Someone you got some burgers for Chevy? I'll have a burger. Dad, I'd like cheese on mine, please. Cheese and barbecue sauce. Thank you. I'll be back. Alright, so... Just gonna let that heat up a little bit. And then I gotta scrape off the grill, because I was lazy last time. Quickly put the burgers on, and they... They cook in... Like what? It takes maybe... 10 minutes tops. Depends if you use the drink rule. If you put the burgers on, you can usually drink two drinks of your choice. Whatever you like to drink while you're barbecuing. Two drinks and the burgers are done. That's a good way to gauge it. Depending on how fast you drink, I guess. Who's hungry? We got someone coming out here. Come on. Who is this? It's supper time. Supper time. Hi. Hi. Are you excited for burgers? You excited for burgers? You don't get any yet, okay? Not yet. Oh, don't look so sad. Don't look so sad. Baby, he wants a burger. Why would you even tell him about the burgers? Well, because I'm, ex I'm like that. excited. We're barbecuing. Don't tell him that. He's my son. We have to hide things, especially when he becomes a toddler. Oh. We gotta like take shifts of eating the good stuff while we feed him the veggies. Yeah. <laughs> while you're busy feeding him, I'll be eating chocolate in the back room. Excuse That's me. how it's gonna go. <laughs> but now I just said it in the vlog, and you're watching this in the future, and you're like, no way. They did that? Yes, we did. Yes, we did. We tricked you. Daddy was eating chocolate in the back room, and you had no idea. He loves his head being touched. You go like this. He's intrigued by the camera. This is the Sony, so it's pretty bulky. What is that thing he's holding? This thing's big, isn't it? Look at the big fluffy microphone up here. You see it? Look at that big fluffy microphone. I know, right? No, you can't have it. No. Not yet. not just supper time for us, it's supper time for everybody. Look at this, it's a feast in here. Oh, they're getting Chinese too. Well, Teasel won't eat unless we give him Chinese. Sometimes if it's Thai rice, it's okay. Diesel. Diesel, you excited for Chinese? The Chevy. I am. <laughs> And that's it for today, everybody. Sort of buzzing around town. We did get a lot done at the shop today. Got everything ready. We'll be home for a couple of days yet. Yeah, just a little bit of home time footage coming up as we're getting some other things done. And then we'll be back on the road before we know it. Still gotta get Old Blue 
all cleaned up, washed, and make sure that there's no other damage on it. I'm pretty sure it'll be okay at this point because we got that uh, air valve and the airline looked at. It looks like it's okay. I got lucky, I think. <laughs> we'll see you again soon, though. Don't forget, one more time. If you're in southeastern Manitoba and you're looking to rent a camper trailer, think of us first. Hey, do us a favor. If you have any friends in the area, too, and they're looking to rent a trailer, maybe they've never even thought of it. Because we didn't think of it until early this year that it was an option. You know, you don't have to go and buy your own brand new one. You know people who rent it out. Keep us in mind. I'll talk to you later.